into the next step. What about a lot of you, what you've done? You've taken a patch and you fill it with CO2 or copper oxide. What about if you can create two or three patches, each one with different guns to be embedded? So in one container, you have different guns as a patch. Composite patches is the next step you can try where you can literally change the condition of the body instantaneously. You don't need to mix the gas together. A lot of people mix the CO2 with the copper oxide. Now, if you understood what's on the table, then you understand you can make literally sacks of gas inside each other. But you have to understand how you do it. The composite gas. As I said to you, do not go and put it out as a gas, blah, 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 because you come up with it, we give you the knowledge. If you can see how to work, you can literally position your bags or your ganses into the target. Create one heavier and the other one lighter that you can absorb and at the same time give. So what you do, you create a gravitational into the pack and from the other side you feed it. The composite uh, patches, if you do it, is one of the easiest ways to change a lot of conditions, especially with uh, diseases like cancer. Now you dictate the composite and you can do the same in so many ways, from the back to the front, where you condition across. There is something which I have to explain to you, and I'll repeat it again. If you are using patches, this is the back side of the body, this is your spinal cord, and this is your spine, the vertebra. Never, under no circumstances ever, put a patch across here. You got to make sure, even with the setup we just saw, you have to realign that neural system, especially the main trunk, which is on your spinal cord, comes under cover. Try to always work around kidney, liver, whatever. Never concentrate on the spinal cord. So, if you make patches now, create multiple patches. Patches of scans, where you can create gravitational or a magnetical according to the plasma. This is very important. This is absolutely uh, important for you that you start building these systems to now start expanding the use of the system. You use the patch. Now, insert patches inside each other. But you have to know what you're inserting is not floating and you can control the position. But you've got to remember again, if you look at the patch, if you look at the sideway, your patches should be floating inside each other. This is how you're going to get it. It's very easy. But so what you have, you have, let's say, um, CO2 here. You have CH3 here. And you have your other gans somewhere here. The water settles to the top, so you only get gases on the point of contact. This is the behavior of the gas. You've seen it. They always, the gas always goes to the bottom. So if this is the body, 
if this is the body, so you can literally make a size and you know this is the amount, the field you can inter to interact. I've seen a lot of people mixing different ganses and say this is the ganses. What does it do? Where does it go? Why, why do you have to touch everything else? Now, this is an easy way. If you don't have huge amounts of copper but you want to get the same uh, principle work, you can do it this way. You change the gases in different containers and you apply it. Mr. Cash, that's the, the water of the GANS or the GANS itself? These colors are the GANS itself because the water of the GANS will float up. The patch, when you set the patch, your ganses will sit at the bottom of the plastic and then the other one sits on top of it and the other one sits on top of it. So you can create the condition, but you have to understand how you create the condition. 